Hey, this is Joe with Measure Quick. We're continuing our series on guided workflows. This is uh, continuing from we already did our uh, set up a job. We're doing an install and all of our probes were on. We then went to the uh, indoor section and took all the readings we needed to to determine our profile and deployed those probes. Uh, next video was about outdoor pro placement and ga grabbing that information. And now our systems are on indoor and outdoor. And now we're going to go to the last step, which is actually doing uh, confirming your test uh, conditions. Okay, so confirming that we have not unlocked this project yet. Everything we're doing so far has been actually free. So I just want to make sure you understand there's lots of great things that when you unlock it. But if you want to get to this point, I can see all my diagnostics. You saw in the last video that I can scroll across and see it. I can also do my diagnostics in the upper right corner here. The things you're used to using in MeasureQuick are still here. Nothing has changed except the guided workflow section on the other side. So we're going to go to our next, which is actually the test out uh, stage and what we're going to do next. So notice that the diagnostics I showed you that were over here in the um, gauge screen are also down here. You can do the same thing you've done, you're, you're used to doing this. I can click on any one of these and see the information that's helping me. So this is actually uh, being uh, taught in the field if you're still trying to learn or catch up. or This is why people love MeasureQuick. It's like, you know what, uh, uh, Jim and MeasureQuick found these things and I, I didn't and then I read about what it was. Um, so we are our goal is to improve the industry one system at a time. So uh, there's a variety of stuff that's here uh, that may not be possible with the system I have. That means my profile wasn't correct, but let's not focus on the, the conditions here. We're not trying to be a technician. We're trying to learn how to use um, the guided workflow. So this is the next section of the guided workflow. So our goal is to move down to these sections. And then when we're done with this, then we're finally asked to unlock that. So let's start up top here. So we have our corrective actions. So when I click on corrective actions, uh, these are things that you had done as part of your install. So I did level the thermostat. You know, I did verify the setback on there. Um, I did replace some fuses of, as part of the install. Uh, so whatever it is you did as part of your install, these are great things to keep track of. These will be in the report. They are saved back to MeasureQuick Cloud, and they are saved here so you can find historical information when we talk about entering notes. So if you adjusted dampers or whatever it is you did, these are also available to download at MeasureQuick as a PDF so you can use them as part of your tech talks and your training. Okay, that's done. So the next one is uh, system testing and optimization. This is not as complicated as it sounds. Jim is asking you to make sure you've actually done several of these things. So there are issues here with refrigerant charge and airflow adjustment, uh, uh, equipment system, addressing uh, the defaults, uh, uh, completion of the check after adjustment and electrical measurements. So you can click on each one of these as you read them. I'm sure once you get used to them, you'll realize what's there. So the goal is you're acknowledging these conditions while you're doing your install. Okay, so we captured our indoor electrical, right? And now we're going to capture uh, the other one. So my meter is on. It's still on. We're good. And now I'm going to capture my outdoor measurements. Notice at the top, I still have some stuff to enter. So now we're dealing with the condensing phase. So my outdoor phase is still single. And my condensing is, uh, because it's an air conditioner, it's technically 115. But normally, you're going to pick 230, 240. But in order to reduce my uh, errors and other issues, I'm going to pick uh, 115. So notice that I'm now getting my readings already automatic. They pop up. I'm good to go. I got my power factor, amperage, voltage. All that is coming uh, right through automatically. If you wanted to enter them manually, you would hit uh, uh, face to face and uh, enter the same information that you're looking for here. So I've now captured those and we're good to go. The note section is something most people skip over, so we gave you a skip button. But what it's asking for is there's something here that you needed to document that was not part of other things like the dog bites. Uh, and now other, everybody who accesses this job can see this. Nobody else can see this unless you're in the app or on the backside. It's not part of the report. Down here below, I'll make sure we go back to the field notes. Down here below, I can see this view history. All the things that we've done in this uh, series, uh, every time somebody's been here, you can see who was the technician who had been here and what were the corrective actions and other conditions that they'd already been selecting. So it's very helpful if you're like, well, I add a refrigerant charge two months later. It's saying I need to add more refrigerant charge you're realizing there's a theme here. I need to uh, adjust, uh, adjust that correctly. Okay, so we're entering notes. Notice it says not ready for benchmark. It is trying to determine that you are at a steady state to do that. It doesn't mean you're going to get a perfect benchmark. It just needs to know that I'm ready to benchmark the system. 
And there you go. It just clicked to ready to, to do my benchmark. All right. So uh, when I do that, it probably will tell me I'm under duress. It means that some things are out of a line, but it's, you're still able to benchmark it as it is. It's telling you that my charge is out of range and my airflow is out of range. I'm going to go ahead and benchmark under duress. It says you have benchmarked under duress, and I have uh, so we did benchmark the, the airflow and subcooling. Nice job. And I can scroll across. I wanted to see what are my issues here. As I scroll across, I can see my temperature splits a little low. My airflow is way too high. These are the conditions that are happening. So remember, I selected it was a two ton. Probably should have selected something more like a, a three quarter ton. So again, if your profile is not correct, you're going to see that you have some challenges. So we are benchmarked, though. The key about the benchmarking, if you notice up here, that my parameters have now completely tightened up. So if I want to send somebody back to this job after we're done, they can actually come back and do a non invasive test knowing the conditions that are now been documented with this. So for most installs are going to be 100% and you've done a really great job. So it's easy for somebody to come back and confirm this system is still operating the way it was installed. So that's part of our goal. Okay, you can see we're almost done with our section here. So we're going to save our measurements. Saving measurements is this snapshot that's happening right now. So it's going to go through the entire, um, uh, all the fields that are happening and it's now past those. And now it's going to bring up the subsystem review to pass. Okay. So notice I can clear this. If like, if they're going to make a change or you find out that some, uh, something didn't pass in your subsystem review, I can go back and clear it and then recapture it. It's important that you understand that, that if you don't like what you've got here, that I can clear it and redo that at any time. So right now we're in the subsystem review. It happens automatically. What you must do is every section must either have a pass or a fail. Many of these things actually have automatic readings that you're able to either we pass or we failed you. And if you want to override it, that's okay because we actually will put a little icon next to something that had passed. If you change something, we're kept keeping track of that. Some things are actually did pass, did well, but some they're not actually measured, like your condensate drain system. So if it passed, that's great. If it failed, you probably should have taken a picture and uh, done it right. It's an install. There's no reason to fail your condensate drain. So the other ones that are here are outdoor and indoor equipment. That uh, These are passed. And um, everything else is also being automatically done. Cooling capacity passed. And then when you're done, you hit continue. And now we're to this section here where it says the rest of the guided workflow, you need to unlock it in order to get the features. The features are I want to see my score and I want to save all the measurements. I want to save my benchmark, save all my pictures. That all goes back to the cloud. When I exit, you must exit for that to happen. And then uh, I have this to refer to in the future. So if you really got this far, then it really was it made a lot of sense for you to um, focus on saving all these. I don't know why you'd have done all of this as an install and not want to save it for $5. It's good for an entire year. That means that I can come back to this next, next uh, month. Maybe you did an install or early in the winter and you want to come back in the summer to make sure your charge is correct. It's free. It's free to assess any part of that system. Okay. So if you don't want to, for some reason, unlock it, and you're going to just go ahead and exit. We asked you to do a system finalization. That's an already part of the unlocking, so I'm not going to do that now. I'll show you what's there. So you're going to unlock. We're asking uh, you have to have money in your account to do this. So you're going to unlock, and it's showing you all the stuff you get. Okay, so it's unlocked, right? Now I have a score. I'm like, wow, my temperature loss is really impacting me. So maybe I need to figure out what happened. It's probably a probe placement. Okay, so I found that it was probe placement. I had it in the supply, but not exactly inside the register well enough. And there was some entrainment. Air was actually moving across the front and giving me a much different temperature split than I needed. Notice that I now have a 92, and my only issue is some refrigerant loss. Again, we're working with a, a older air conditioner to give us some reading. So in general, I now have a pretty good score considering it's an air conditioner in another room. So as we look at what we just did, we just did the corrective actions, uh, system testing, meter, notes, benchmarks, save measurements, and we completed the subsystem review. There's only th a small section of things that are now were opened up once we uh, paid the uh, five qubits and uh, unlocked Premier Services. And that was that, A, I got my score, so I can now see my score. It also shows up on my report. Again, there's only one score because there's only one test out. If you needed to stream your data or back to the office, that also is part of the Premier Services. Okay, and now we're ready to generate our pro report. So we hit pro report, generate. And you can see that we have our score, nice 92. 
probably be a hundred for you. And uh, it breaks down what our issues were. So we had some refrigerant loss issues. Um, and there's uh, some other things that are on here to make sure you understand the pro report. I encourage you to definitely do your own home as part of this process. You can see all of your indoor measurements, what they were, how they were captured and whether they were used for uh, what uh, probe or device or meter that was used, whether they were trending up or down, uh, all that is on here. And it was benchmarked, it was under duress, system was stable, what type of metering device is it, uh, performance calculations as to where you're at and uh, confirm time of, of, of use. Here's your score, profile, system information, Lots of great stuff in here, including our system faults that we have uh, in operational. These are things we checked off earlier during the process. And here's a bunch of pictures that we had had as part of that uh, group. And those are the equipment models and that stay with that job forever. The last page, I kind of describe it as more of a disclaimer as to why our score is what it is and all the other DOE and other uh, third-party um, uh, data results and uh, studies that have been done to confirm why we have that. So this is something you can send to your client. Actually, in the upper right corner is a, uh, a share uh, button. And um, when you hit uh, done and when you exit and save, it is saved to MeasureQuick Cloud and it's saved to your CRM. And um, it's a great thing to have as something to show your uh, clients, especially the photos. There's so many times people have told me, Oh my gosh, those photos saved uh, our issues because the client swore one thing and we showed them the photos to prove otherwise. There's only one last thing to do here and it's called system finalization. Clearly not that challenging anymore, is it? So uh, power is shut down um, and uh, panel is secured. My test port is good and uh, Schrader caps are installed. Uh, we'll probably add something here about make sure you got all your probes. And final step is to ensure that the system cycles on before you leave. That's it. You're done. You've completed the install process. So once I hit finish, it's going to now uh, send everything back to the cloud. For those of you who are going to ask already, well, what happens if I don't have internet? So it may spin for a bit. And you can actually do save to your device. Okay. Once you get back to an area that has it, then there's another video that shows how to upload that information back to the cloud. So we're back to where we started. We now have this job that's here. And uh, it's the first floor of Goodman. And... Um, that completes the series on how to do an install in the guided workflow. Uh, we thank you so much for being a MeasureQuick user. You have a great day.